Hi right, guys, Ready Set RC, and today we got the Kyosho Inferno GT2 out on its second run, running it also again on 4S, guys. Um, just wanted to take this thing out and, and see what it can do. Uh, I have not done any gearing changes or anything else to it. Uh, enjoy the video. It's pulling. Much better. Yeah, this is this definitely needs to be geared up. This car drives so smooth, but it needs success, no question about it. It needs an ESC swap. And it is extremely, I gotta make sure that car is not coming. It is extremely pricey at 620 for what you get. It's a little long in the tooth. And I would expect at this price point, a lot more other stuff would be installed. It drives well, but Sway bar is probably one. All metal shocks at this price point. Six S. Another thing I would expect at this price point. But it's a nice driving car. Um, but just needs a little bit more at 620. It's stable and it drives well, guys. I mean, it really does drive well. <coughs> but at 620, you need a little bit more in there. And I was having some problems binding up my uh, the stock receiver and transmitter. First time, never had this issue with Kyosho before. And um, since I was so fiending to get out here, I just you know threw in my Futaba. I'll mess around with the uh, the Kyosho one and see what's going on with it afterwards. But my thoughts are it probably just needs to be rebound. I tried to recalibrate it, but it wasn't working. All right, here comes this fool again. You were in here before, dude. Well, this time we get out of the car. What you get at this park is a lot of people will pull up to a parking spot and sit there in the car, not have lunch or anything like that, just sit there in the car, get some mental break, and then leave. Only at this park. I don't think I've ever seen it at any other park before, but a lot of people come to this park to have a mental break.
Oh my god. I forgot I was driving that car, 75% throttle. Bring her in. Like how she breaks out on the wet. Look at that. That's it guys, nice 4S run with the Kyosho Inferno GT2. Um, I just feel it needs a little bit more gearing on it. I'm gonna see what other parts there are for it, but at 620, it is pricey for what you get. Definitely feel that this thing is, it's, it needs a little bit more. It needs a little bit more in regards to speed. Handling is decent, but I wanna see what that feels like once you put more power into it. Um, I wanna see if it's gonna stay as controlled as it is on 4S as opposed to 6S. Uh, but we're going to leave it here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram for our latest posts to the channel. This is Ready, Set, RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.